Hi guys, I'm Amy Morales and today I'm gonna be doing this really crazy kind of eye look. I'm sure you saw it on the thumbnail. I got inspired from a photo. I don't know if I put it on the screen. Marjorie told me I should do it, so I'm trying to recreate it. So if you guys wanna know how I recreated it, then keep watching. Okay, so today I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35B. It was like $25. That's the only palette I'm going to be using today. I'm going to part my hair. I already did my eyebrows. I made them extra dark because I'm trying to get a good thumbnail. Hopefully, the lighting is better right there. So, this is what it currently looks like. I have these Ardo Wispies on. Shade black. I'm not used to autofocus. And for my eyebrows, I use the e.l.f. in the shade Espresso Lock-On Liner. That's what it's called. What? Sorry, I'm getting excited. That's the eye look. It might be a little different on this eye because I don't really know how to do it, kind of, but I'm gonna try to recreate what I just did there. So I'm gonna take this yellow shade and I'm gonna put that in the crease and blend it out like that. I'm gonna layer that because we want the yellow to shine through. Let me know if y'all want a yellow eye tutorial because I will do that. This shade right here, it's like a burnt orangish. <laughs> Shout out to Anastasia Modern Renaissance. And get that, blend that with it. Just a little bit to make it darker. And now I'm gonna take this orange right here and I'm gonna zoom out in a little bit more. I'm gonna put that like a dome. That's my favorite word to use when I'm doing eyeshadow. Look how different it looks. I don't know. I'm talking really fast. And I'm going to take the Morphe MB23 in the yellow down here. And I'm going to blend that all together. Blend out like that. Don't go into the eyebrow though. Like I did. I made my eyebrow too far. <laughs> I made it go too far up. I think it's supposed to be like that. Now I'm gonna take the yellow again and do that because I'm just gonna kind of retrace my shape because my shape is not turning out good. Now I'm gonna take on the, oh, by the way, this is the M441 that I've been using to like apply the color. I'm going to take this purple right here. That purple, I'm gonna put that on the lid the color like that's not even the color but that's how it shows up on the eyes i'm gonna take the mb23 again and blend that together now i'm gonna take a dark pinkish shade i'm going to take these two shades right here so we get that kind of color we want it to be vibrant. Oh, well, when you touch on a screen and it moves it, if you touch it with a makeup wipe, that's what it does. There we go. That's what we want to do. And then I'm just going to blend the edges with the MV23. I'm going to go in with like that orange and I'm going to put that on top because I literally have no idea where the color just went. Like the transition color. Uh, pinkish color. I'm gonna put that back on. I'm gonna blend that back out. So now I'm gonna keep layering on these three colors. I'm just gonna mix them together like that. Hey, Bricot, come here. Hey, Bricot. I've been wanting like a makeup t collection and I don't have that much makeup. So I don't know why you guys want a makeup tutorial. <gasps> this looks really bad right here. Cause that freaking yellow dude. I'm gonna get the yellow and the orange. I'm gonna mix them with that right here. I'm gonna just layer that on because like the color isn't there. I'm getting the yellow 
No, I'm gonna put that on top. All right, now I'm getting those three shades that I've been using and I'm gonna layer that on. M518. I'm going to this shade right here, but I'm gonna mix it with this purple. And then we're gonna put that on the lower lash line. Be careful not to get it too far out because I always put it too far out on accident. Okay, I think that's as good as I can make it. Um, the thing I do not like is how that's like not really blended that well. Do you see that? I'm just gonna blend over here because I really want this to be blended. I don't want it to be a mess. I'm gonna get this makeup wipe and kind of clean up all of this crap. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Now, I'm getting this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. This is like $4. And I'm gonna take an angled brush. This is like a really cheap one from e.l.f. It's a thinner one than the one they advertise as angled brush because I got it in, a, in the eyebrow kit. I'm gonna put on winged liner we're kind of doing that winged liner so you want to go i need a mirror you want to go in the shape of the way you put on your eyeshadow crap i don't know it's okay i'm gonna keep going over it with the gel liner because when you keep going over it, it makes it blacker and we want it to be black This is horrible. Do you see that? <laughs> Bye. Okay, so now that we have like all that fallout, you wanna take a makeup wipe, go from the end and swipe up, and this will also create a sharper wing. Why are you low battery again? Now I'm gonna take the Too Face mascara. I'm gonna put that on my top lashes. And then I'm gonna put these Art of with these on, and then I'm gonna put Lash Paradise on my bottom lashes, and I will be back with you guys. Okay, so this is the look. I'm gonna zoom y'all in pretty well. So, ow, I hit my knee. You can't even see. So this is the look that I did, but I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm gonna take this Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. I just put my foundation on, by the way. And I'm gonna take it on my pink, on my finger. And I'm gonna put it in the inner corner and under the brow bone, like I did on the other eye. And then, oh, God, I didn't even mean to get any, but I guess I'll just go ahead and put some on my nose and stuff, even though I haven't even contoured. So now I'm gonna take this Ulta brush and put on some highlight, I guess. We're doing a makeup look, but basically for the foundation, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 110, I think it was. 115, actually. You can't even see the highlight that well, but it doesn't matter. So this is the look. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below, comment down below, turn on the post notifications, follow me on all of my socials, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah, I'm already gone. Just let me lay out.